your next comedian coming to the stage that deserves all your attention and so much enthusiasm. Your next comedian coming to the stage, spelled the same, pronounced differently. Get it? You shouldn't, because it wasn't a joke. Please welcome to the stage, April Dowdy. April Daddy! Thanks. Hello, all hey. seven of you left. Hey, what's up, dude? I would just like to say I had a bunch of racist jokes lined up and I was going to say them. I thought it was great to have black people here, but now it's a bunch of white folks. I feel like it's like a KKK meeting. And it would be frowned upon. I love you. I have interracial kids. It makes me okay to say that shit, right? Man, like that. I can cook too. Yeah. I can't drive, but I can cook. Is that cool? Anyway, so I um I went I had I got closer. You like that, don't you? Because it is a stage. The only person who's gonna laugh at me and my jokes. Um, are there any females left in the audience at all? I can't see. Is like one? Awesome. You don't look gay. You're not gay. You're not gonna laugh at my jokes. That's fucked up. Um, I wish that I'm gonna tell my jokes anyway because I need to practice. But, um, so, I hate indecisive people, especially bisexuals. Now, don't get me wrong, I've been young, dumb, and full of cum. I fuck with the ladies and the female. I like the cop now, but back in the day, not so much. But um, I met a friend at a bar, and I walked up to her, and I was like, hey, girl, how you doing? Yeah, Nikki loves to get to the game. Yeah, you like that, don't you? And so I was all excited, I thought I was going to get laid, you know, I'm going to get some action. So I took her home, and I'm taking off her skirt with my teeth. And then something unexplainable happened. She slapped me in the face with her dick. It was unexpected. Like, don't mind, don't, don't. I, I don't have a problem with chicks with dicks at all. But I would like a waiver or a warning to advise me that something was going down that I wasn't aware of, you know. So after she destroyed my vagina, <laughs> that didn't stop me. I was supposed to get more laughs. There are females, this would be great. <laughs> um, and so anyway, she, we did what we did, and she destroyed my vagina, like I was saying. And then after the fact, I'm thinking of what I could do to show my appreciation, you know, for everything that went down, because it was awesome. And so I went out and got her some Axe to clean her balls with, because oral hygiene is number one on my priority list. That was a head joke. I thought most guys would get that. No, y'all don't get head at all? Yep. Okay, y'all are all married then, huh? Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh, I had a bunch of jokes lined up, well not lined up, but when the guy at Black Magic was up here, and he was talking about he coaches Little League football, and this, and cuss up, I was just glad my kid played soccer. Because I'm not, I'm not afraid to go back to him, right, Bill that That's just a jail joke. <laughs> so nobody, is, there's no females or ex-cons here. Uh, awesome, my lineup sucks. <laughs> all right, let's see. What can we do? All uh, I'm sorry, this is not directed to you at all, but all black men do not have big penises. I would like to say that's a fact. That chick from Atlanta is not the only girl that likes black dudes. I have two interracial kids. They're like a little Heinz 57 variety bottle. I don't know what the fuck they are. Because I'm Irish and Indian and white and dad, black, Mexican, and confused. And um, yeah, awesome. I chuckle. That's great. And so I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a little story. I'm fuck all my material. I'll tell you a story that happened today. True story. Two, two true stories. The first one is I'm doing. I'm in school. I don't go to a real school, a real university. I go to J. Sargent. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have no standards at all. And so I'm, I'm doing my homework. I'm writing a paper on why drug dealers live at home with their parents. And I realized, I hear kids outside, I realized I missed my, my kid's bus stop. Like, I was supposed to get him off the bus and shit, and I missed it completely. So I'm like, oh shit, what am I going to do? And I run downstairs, and he's already, like, downstairs playing with his Hot Wheels and shit. Like, he, he made it home, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, I feel like a terrible mom, I'm so sorry. And he's like, it's okay, mommy, he's consoling me and shit. Like, I was proud, I was real proud, he did a good job, he's growing up and shit. And then he asked me to walk home every day. I'm like, no, no. There are six registered sex offenders in my neighborhood. Absolutely not. Yeah, I live in the East End. I'm touching myself because I'm nervous. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 and so I told him, no. Keep doing it. Shut up. Keep doing it. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's the only thing that's holding your attention is me touching myself? No. No, I'll go with it. So, <laughs> 
And so I'm, I'm telling him no, why he can't go home every day by himself. And he's like, but mommy, but mommy, he's seven, by the way, he's seven. He's like, mommy, if somebody tries to grab me, I'll kick him in the balls. And he'll go like this, he'll go, oh, my balls, oh, my balls. And he acted it out with passion and, and, and nothing. Y'all don't have kids, you're not ex-cons, you don't smoke weed, because otherwise you'd be laughing. This is bad. I wish, you know, I got another, I got a one line. This just popped into my head. Two, two one liners. Let me go with it. You said touch myself? Okay. So, um, wax on, wax off. So, I feel if my lawn, I, I feel like my lawn should be emo, because then it would cut itself. <laughs> awesome! Self mutilation works. That works. Okay. Um, okay, I got a truck driver joke. Anybody drive trucks? No? Buses. Buses, that works, same thing. I'll, I'll change it, okay. So I was looking out the window because I don't drive at all. I have no license, fuck the judge, he doesn't know me. And so I saw my kid, I saw, not my kid, I'm not gonna tell you this one, but the kid was sitting on the curb and he had a kitten in his hand and he was petting it. And every few minutes he would bite the kitten and then scoot further down the sidewalk, right? And so I stood in the window for five minutes watching this kid. Every few minutes he continued to bite the kitten and then scoot down the sidewalk. And so I went outside, I'm like, look, dude, what are you doing? What, what's going on? He said he was playing truck driver. I said, truck driver? What is that? He said, well, mama said, every good truck driver eats a little pussy and scoots on down the road. That's true. That's true, but you don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to go masturbate feverishly and introduce the next comment. You guys have a good night. Thank you so much. You can help me with that, but you can't laugh at my jokes. Please. Oh, what? You can tell them too many. You said I was telling too many? All right. I can hear all of your individual conversations. So I can wait. Sorry. Sorry, I love you. My track bag is louder than the audience has been for the last 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't know what it looks like. Um, anyway, your next best comedian, please welcome to the stage, the talented, the funny, Remo. Oh, Remo! Yeah, how's it going? It's fucking wonderful. I feel you, son. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Man, oh man. It's been a crazy night. Oh my God, I've seen everything. My, I'm, I'm kind of mad the black people left, you know. I feel alone. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. That's one. We need numbers there. <laughs> I think everybody's a racist, honestly. Because you can't tell me, you know, even as a black, white, Japanese, I don't give a fuck what you are. When you walk in the room, you automatically gravitate to the person that's your color. Like, you can't do that. Like, come on. Honestly, you know, if a guy, especially like a black guy, you know, if he sells drugs, he's going to direct himself over to the black guys because he knows he's going to get it all. Unless the other guys, you know, white people are like, hey, look, you got uh, yeah, the little marijuana? Yeah, all right, hey, hey. I just did that. Fuck it. Uh, I find it funny, too, that uh, whenever uh, the white people, you know, the white guys did uh, the black jokes, he kind of looked over there towards the black person. He looked in the nearest black person and started laughed like, <laughs> what? Oh, what? It's a go. It's all right. <laughs> all right. I'll chuckle this time. But I'm not a racist. <laughs> not by any means. Oh, man. I just came off vacation. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, vacation in Petersburg. Wood. Oh, let me stop. I fucking hate Petersburg, man. I just stay out of Petersburg and I stay like right there in Virginia, like right there uh, by Virginia State on that line. And it's a thin line, it's like three fucking counties. It's Ettrick, Petersburg, and Chesterfield, right on that line. You know, I find that bullshit, you know? Especially like when I get pulled over, and it seems like all three of them get behind me, and they start beating on me and shit. Like, <laughs> turn one boy, we got a black male. See about 25, looks a little suspicious, might have drugs. All right, Chesterfield, we're starting to be true. One donut, one donut, can we get two donut, two donut, all right, two donut to Ettrick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious, guys? <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I was like, man, police come out of nowhere, don't they, man? It seems like, fuck, you be riding, you just be driving. It's nobody around you, you know what I'm saying? And it's so fucking sneaky, it's like nobody around you. And all of a sudden you hear, woo! You're like, what the fuck, you look around, there's no cars. The police are snuck in your back seat, like, woo! 
Yeah, you did in LA. The red shirt, please. They ain't even on that. When they, when they pull you over, they always ask you all these crazy questions, you know? All these questions, you know, do you know why I pulled you over? No, officer, but since we playing the question game, I'm gonna need to use a lifeline because my fucking license is suspended. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to get home tonight, please. <laughs> I got a lot of black friends and they don't need their money. So. <laughs> I get out the fucking money and it's Tuesday. <laughs> Not thing I hate that police are kind of ruthless, aren't they? You know what I'm saying? The other day I see them outside of a church. Like, church my boy, we got a situation over here. Apparently these people are high off Jesus. They're holding the Holy Ghost cap in captivity. <laughs> Go ahead, pick up the brush. Take your life, fresh, fresh. And uh, that was a church joke. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> man, let me tell you, man, I honestly, man, I'm actually, I'm acting love them. And that's what makes that joke kind of funny. <laughs> But you know, I used to stay, I used to date this girl around the north side or whatever. And you know, it's kind of a bad neighborhood over in uh, Essex Village. So some asshole kept putting these fucking Jesus pamphlets on my car. And I, it pissed me off because I felt like they were forcing like Jesus on me. And you know what? I believe in God. You know, I, I think that there is Jesus. So I can't just throw this shit like a club. You know, somebody put a club shit on you. You're like, fuck, fuck, I'm never going there. This shit is like, ah, damn, Jesus. Damn. I'll just put you on somebody. You got dope, Jesus, today. You got right now. One day I sat outside the house. I sat in the house. I looked out the window. I caught that asshole. And you know what? I watched him go to his car. And the next morning, you know what? When he woke up, he had a nice bean pie, some incense, and a newspaper. Like, hi, bitch. <laughs> and you feel my pain, goddammit. He ate the fuck out of that bean pie, though. Honestly. Yeah, so, uh, this is life. Life on the rock. Uh, I really don't have that much. Let me see. Can you throw, throw a topic? We're going to just fuck around. Throw a topic out. Lesbians. Oh, man. Lesbians. <laughs> you know what? I really don't want to talk about lesbians. I've seen, like, fucking Sneagle and the female version of Yoda run back and forth. <laughs> they were, like, kissing and shit. She was like, like man pound. They were really up and shit. I was like, are oh, you fucking shit? I was like, this is awkward. The awkward level that just turned up in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you guys, um, I hate customer service, man. Let me tell you, the other day, you know, I realized, you know, let me speak to your manager, it's like checkmate, you know, that's the checkmate of a conversation. And let me tell you, I hit this motherfucker with that shit, you know, I was on the phone with FedEx, and I was like, look, man, you know, I got a phone that's coming, but, you know, I gotta go to court today, so I wanna get the phone before I go to court. Then the day, I was like, look, man, let me speak to the truck driver, and I wanna speak to a truck driver. Like, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. I said, you know what? Let me speak to your man in the chat, hey, bitch. He was like, all right, hold on. Fuck it. Damn, you got me. I have no moves left. <laughs> like, but you want to argue just to do, just, I end up talking to the fucking truck down. I'm like, you put me through all that? Like, that's fucked up. Why do you want to be checked in? You don't even like chess. I don't even know how to play chess, honestly. <laughs> I just knew that was the best move. <laughs> like, I don't know which car drives best, but Ferrari looks nice on me. So, check that bitch. <laughs> How is that it? Well, uh, I can't even thank God for uh, listening to my bullshit. And whoever stayed, you know, the guys who aren't comedians, you know, thank you guys for staying. Comedians, you know, we go through this. So, it's been a fun night for me, I know. You know, it's been crazy. I've seen all kinds of stuff tonight. I'm still pissed that the circus hasn't uh, accepted my application, but I'll get those guys later, you know. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Woo! Thank you! You're a primo! All right, everybody. That is the conclusion of the show. Uh, there are one, two, three, 16 people left. Uh, 17, 18, including myself and Sidor. Uh, just want to say thank you. I point that out because I want to thank all 16 of you for sticking around. Uh, the show tonight was fantastic and it definitely climaxed early because uh, we had a weird uh, circus dynamic going on. Um, for those of you who, oh, the three of you don't count because you guys just walked in, so you just, yeah. That's fine though, it's okay. So, well, thanks for being here after the, you know, you should have seen uh, earlier tonight. It was fantastic. I'll tell you what you should do. Go to Cafe Diem and like it on Facebook. 
Hopefully you're not on Facebook because it's a cesspool. But if you are on Facebook and you like Facebook, which is understandable, search Cafe Diem Comedy and like that page. Uh, thank you for all the comedians who are still here. Uh, I would like to say that uh, I am keeping the set list from tonight and I will make sure that the comedians who are on in the last hour tonight are not uh, in the last hour next time. So please come back, you won't get shafted. Thank you guys, have a good night.